Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and my wife came home and she noticed that the Yukon was making a lot more noise than usual from the fan. So you can hear it here. And so the fan was in an overdrive situation. It was pumping out harder than it ever has. And what I noticed was that the temperature gauge was reading zero. She, you know, it looks like 160 because that's where it starts, but it was actually at zero. When you hit the transmission uh, temperature gauge by hitting tow haul, you can see it's up to temperature. So the car knows something is wrong. And so it'll give you a check engine light and it will even continue to run this fan in a limp mode kind of fashion, just in case the car's overheating. So it basically knows its temperature sensor has failed and it will run this fan at high blast even when you turn the car off. So as you can see here, we turned it off and they continued to run. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take our 10 millimeter socket here with an extension. And so first what we wanna do is disconnect the battery since it's running. And we so we're gonna go after the ground cable. Make sure you don't do the positive one. We're gonna go ahead and take our 10 millimeter here, loosen up the uh, negative battery terminal and we're gonna lift it up and put it out of the way. Now disconnecting the battery can be a temporary fix. If you put it back on after a few minutes, the check engine light may go away and it'll reset until the problem comes up again. But ultimately you'll want to replace the coolant temperature sensor. So check the video description. I have a full install on how to do this. You may also get a check engine light, which I did as well. And so if it tells you that it's the coolant temperature sensor, then uh, that's probably what it is. As you can see, this one was pretty dirty and bad, and here's the replacement one. It's not too bad to do. Again, check the video description. I have a full step-by-step -step installation on how to do this on all of the uh, GM trucks 2015 until 2020 or so.